Hello again, we are on the second video clip. Now what I was going over about, you were telling someone, ooh, I'm getting ready to do a ritual. You can share it, but it needs to be someone also doing the same things you do. Okay, Kristen with another Kristen, and they both put it on together and pray. Okay, that's fine. It's the same idea with someone who do wickcraft. It's going to be the same thing. You both got to be on the same page. That's why we say you can't really tell people when you're doing something. Now, with a person that's been doing it long term, yes, they might give you some information, but guess what? It's not the detail. It's not the full work. And they're not going to give you specifically what they do in their rituals, that no matter what it is, whether they're whether they're doing a Christian way, or they're doing it over a condo, or they're doing it over Bible, or they're doing it over incense, or whatever. They're not going to give you no details on it. They're not going to give you exact what they're doing. Because they believe in keeping that a secret. They feel if they keep it a secret, it becomes a, a wonderful success. But when you are telling the world what you're doing, you will hit someone who can't stand or jealous of you or and that's why we say you can't tell you can't tell about what you're doing. Because they're gonna always be someone against you and not going to want you to be successful. And believe me, there's a lot of people out there that tend to do that. So that's why protection is so important in this area. Find you learn spiritual connection. Spiritual connection is not only for people who do witchcraft. It's for Christians too. It's for people who believe in faith, it's for people who believe in the Bible, whatever you want to call yourselves. So that's why it's very important to understand spiritual connection. And you're going to understand it better with people who've been doing it for a long time. Not from someone who barely understand it, barely started. You're not going to learn from them. They need someone who's been doing it for a long time. And I was saying something about, okay, we we use a lot of things. Um, oil, stones, incense, um, pictures, candles, possibly. But some, some people do it all, some people do a few, whatever. You have to find what works for you. Can't expect that what someone else is doing is going to work for you. No matter what your ritual may be for. Now, then that's another thing we have to remember. It doesn't matter what it is for. You have to know if that's going to work for you. No one can control your spiritual connection, only you. Remember, the more we learn and the more we use our learning tools to grow in the spirit, we start, start climbing to higher levels for ourselves. I remember I mentioned in another video, I don't remember which one, but I also said you always know another spiritualist. Regardless if they're a Christian, regardless if they're um, part of a religion, whatever, you're going to know another person in that. That's why I say 
wanting to see someone accepting God in their life, you have to find things that they tend to do. Okay? A person likes to dance. Maybe you should be saying, okay, let's um let's throw a dance party. Making spiritual dances. Believe me, you can carry the message in a positive way without trying to respect um, some Christians. Oh, come go to church. You will really understand what I found. Okay, your way may not work. Church may not work. Some people are not always comfortable with church. There's so many ways to get someone to that God's connection. Faith, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, many, many ways. You just have to know what works if you're trying to get someone to connect to the Spirit in that way. I'm not going to rub it in, I'm just going to say some people like to rub it in me and I like to say, excuse me? You got to trust me. I don't have... I'm not fake when I say I have a Bible. I own probably five Bibles in this house. I know for sure I have my mother's Bible now. I have my partner's Bible. I have oh, so my Bible, believe it's um, my partner's family's Bible. Yeah. That was my own. And then it was a personal one. I've got six going on. And I got a red one. I seven. So. I even have a friendship Bible, believe it or not. It's not really a Bible, but it has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Bible scriptures in that friendship. But that's why I say. First of all, learn how, learn to understand spirit before you start telling people about it. Because if you didn't understand it or you don't understand the concept of it, you can't really start talking about it or walk or you can't be talking about something that you have no experience. Yes, 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 I know you will start sharing it, but just be careful how much you share. Don't give them details of all you do. I have a few people in my life that tend to post things on Facebook and I'm like, really? And, of course, you automatically got to know someone is connected to spirit with jewelry. Um, that's automatically knowing they got something connected to something. Some people do the earring. Um, I will get back into it. I just have. I just have haven't yet. <laughs> oh, I love my earrings, but um, I haven't found many earrings that um, don't kill my ears. They don't bother me. I love the earrings, but they make. The, the end cheap but like I already said you have already noticed someone who's spiritual or connected to spirit by how they talk, walk, their action um, <laughs> I was thinking of how my best friend noticed me she noticed that I really knew God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Of course, I always own the Bible. That was one. I always had to have a fire. I always had to have a fire fireplace going, whether it was my fireplace or the fire pit, I had it going. <laughs> At least once a week. And I played a lot of gospel music. There were so many things I did that I, I even prayed. I prayed a lot. I 
my saying, yes, 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 you will notice another person who's spirit, who's spiritual, who's connected to spirit. But like I already said, you have to understand how it works before you can talk about it or spread it out. You gotta have experience in these areas. When I was speaking of the robbery, that my la one last video, people don't understand that robbery. I'm not gonna tell you I wasn't scared, but I didn't wanna. I told myself not to live in fear. And I, I emphasize on that verse that says in Psalm 23. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear, I fear no evil for thy. I don't know if I remember the verse. <laughs> Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil for thy art. Thy rod, thy staff that comforts me. If you understand the verse in Psalms 23, let me see. What, um, I'm going to have my back open. Okay. In other words, don't live in fear. Do not live in fear. Let's see. And that verse is Psalms 23. Very short. 